Okay, you can see that I have gone in here and gotten rid of this chair. I sampled this area, um, came in trying to create the inside of that fireplace a little. And now I've got some patterning happening over here. You keep seeing the same pattern. And here it looks a little muddy. So um, just to go over quickly again what I showed you before to make things nice and neat. I am going to drop the opacity. I'm going to get um, a very soft um, sampling brush, and I am going to copy and paste in some areas where you see the repeating, and then an area like over here, when I get this all nice and neat, I can go and clean up over here and make that later and grab them over here. So I sort of get some from the darker area and then some from the lighter area and I keep going back and forth and layering that way. Um, okay, and then another little um, bit that's a nice detail is um, getting this gray that's in there. So I'm taking the eyedropper and grabbing that gray so now it's my foreground color and now i'm going to get my brush i'm going to make it a little transparent um, it's way too big i'm going to make it smaller and then in around smaller in around under these the brick the um, in here um, put a little color in there. Now that is way too opaque. So I am going to um, go back up to where I left off with the clone stamp and I'm going to make it a lot lighter so it doesn't look like that foggy look. You want to be able to see the texture in there to get a little there and then as it gets closer to the bricks it should be just a little darker so you can click on a color and you can go and drag it in so it's a little darker and so I'm going to make my brush just a little smaller and then I would go in and add a little bit of extra shadow in there. Okay, and I'm going to pause and get Okay, you can see I've put the rug back in and now I've also gone and grabbed a chair. So this chair I'm providing for you where it's already silhouetted so you're just going to copy it and paste it into the Photoshop file. Okay, so it looks a little crazy sitting here as big as it does. And um, I'm going to Command T so that I can shrink it. I'll put it over here. I'm going to copy, um, co cover that man behind there. So I'm going to make it face into the room. So under Transform. I can flip horizontal again. So um, if I put it here, um, that feels like it's in the foreground of the room. If I put it in the back, I need to make it quite, quite a bit smaller, right? So I could do that. Um, so I do kind of like that. I think maybe I want to pull it in a little and uh, make it more in the room. So I might have to go so I can feel like, all right, am I gonna be lazy and push that back? Or do I really wanna get it placed in here and I can clean up the brick back there a little bit? I think I'm gonna leave it here. I like that. Um, so now what I need to do is I need to add shadows. So this is good where it's positioned so when you get something sized the way you want 
you need to go up and hit the check mark. And so then it is set. Um, now I want to put some shadows on this rug and some shadows underneath this chair. So I am going to create a new layer. And I'm going to label it shadow so I can manage it a little bit better. I think I accidentally hit iTunes, so in a minute we might have the iTunes popping up in front of my screen. So this shadow layer needs to be under the chair and over the rug. Okay, so now I need to figure out what kind of color I want for this shadow. So I can use the eyedropper and try to pull in some colors that are already in this room, maybe this grayish color there. Um, and then I'm going to click on it and make it a little darker. And the reason why I'm making it darker is because I'm going to make it transparent. And so when I put it in there transparent, I'm going to need to compensate by making it a little darker. Okay, so I've made it 33%. Um, let's see, I need it to be much larger. So I went over here to see how big that circle is. So I think I'm going to make it there. And I've got the hardness at 0%, so that'll be good. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of coloring underneath here. Um, one thing I didn't talk about is where the light source is coming from. So having this chair flipped uh, is working because it does feel like the light is hitting this edge and this edge coming from this window. So I see the light coming through this window. So the light is going to be able to hit a bit under the floor there. And then there's going to be shadows cast from the legs of that chair. So um, I'm going to paint in here a bit and see the way I can go right underneath that chair because the chair is on a separate layer. And also if I decide, oh, I don't like that, I think the light should go underneath here a little, get underneath that chair a little bit more then I can just go erase it and I haven't um, ruined what's happening on the rug. So now I'm going to get my paintbrush here and I am going to make it smaller because there should be a bit of a shadow coming from these legs as well. And so the leg here should cast a shadow and the leg there should cast a shadow and then it gets darker from where the light is hitting the seat. So if you picture the light comes in, it hits the side of that leg and brings the light in, the side of that leg, and then the light can seep in a little bit underneath the chair seat, but then the chair seat is there, and then it comes out the sides here. Now I've gone a little bit too heavy in there, but that's okay because I can go in and erase it some. So I'm going to go get my eraser. I'm going to um, do one. I made it too thick, so I'm just going to, whoops, it's too much. I'm going to just clean that up a little bit. Let me go back. I think I, um, okay. I'm going to go back again and see there. That's better. Okay. Now I also want to make this much smaller because I feel like I didn't get the actual shape of those legs right. So I want to go in there and clean that up. And I want this angle be a little bit better. I need to make, oops, okay. I need it to be lighter, but I want it to be softer. So I'm going to go, and it is soft. Um, 
So maybe what I'll do is make that 75. So I'm going to change the angle of this bit and that leg a bit. And then this leg will come in there. And I don't have so much from the back. And then what's happening with this leg over here. And I feel like I should actually have some shadow coming in this way now. So I'm going to um, go and get the brush one more time. And I'm just going to add a little more shadow in the front. And I think that's pretty good. Um, so the other thing I want to do right now is I am going to hide the rug for a moment because I want to see the shadows in this floor and see how that is happening. Um, you know, there's lightness here, but it doesn't, it gets darker here. It's hard to tell, but it's a little bit darker back there. So I just want to go and on this rug, I'm going to make this bigger and let's see how that looks. I'm going to change it. Now, one thing, another thing that you can adjust is the flow. It's a little bit more of a subtle change, but I'm going to Command Z there and go back. I think I did a little too heavy handed back there. And I think I'm going to change that opacity. To get a little more graduation and gradual coloring in there. And I think that might be enough. Okay, so now the last thing I need to do with this is to go in and clean that wall in the back, but I'm not going to waste your time seeing that. Now, the last thing I need to do is I want to add a person, so I'm going to put it on pause again and go get that person I'm going to add in here. I've just pasted this girl in here. So she's on another layer. I am going to um, put her at the top so she's in front of this chair. And again, I'm doing Command T and I'm going to put her in the room. Now she could be right up in the front. So she'll be bigger. She could be jumping on the chair. So we've got to get her the right size there um, or you could put her up at the top of the stairs put her anywhere you want I think I'm going to put her in the foreground here because um, she's got so much personality there that she seems like she needs to be front and center so I'm going to put her here and then the next thing I need to do is she needs a little bit of a shadow too. So I can actually put it on the same shadow layer because I don't have any shadow where she is. So I would do the same thing I was doing before. And I think about her body. And so she's going to have a solid mass here. But then she's going to, um, the light's going to fly out a little bit. Okay. So um, maybe a little darker where her feet would be landing. Okay, actually she looks a little bit big to me. Oops. Um, if you think about it, if you stretched her out, I think she should be a little smaller. Okay, so there you go. Go to it. Looks like you need a nice picture in the back there. The next thing I'm going to come back and do the wood.